on, it's Babs and Maria. Today on Hashtag White People Weddings, we want to talk to you about singing and dancing. If what you actually do on the dance floor can be called that. How about we start with the Muzak choices you gringos make? Now, don't get me wrong, classical has its place at funerals and bedtime. This is a party, people. Throw back your hair, push up your little white boobies, and shake what your mama gave you. Yes, girl, you should own that aisle like it's your runway. You should look so banging, even your cousin gets a half boner. To really get them on the dance floor during the reception, hire your uncle's neighbor. Chances are he's got some big ass speakers in his lowrider, and I'm sure he can pull it up close. But no, instead you hire some lame ass Ivy League DJ to play John Mayer. Of course my body is a wonderland, John. But I don't need to hear you whisper sing it to me 20 times. How am I supposed to drop it low to that sappy shit? Don't white people know Pitbull? I mean, he's not Mexican, but it's the closest you're gonna get. Yeah, play Fireball. Maybe then your dance floor will see some action. There should be grinding, sweating, hip rolls. No sidestepping an electric slide. White people come alive oh when they hear that electric slide and they get these big shit-eating grins. Am I missing something? You look like a bunch of toddlers who just learned how to clap for the first time. I once saw a little white toddler spank his own butt to the Macarena. <laughs> it was the most entertaining thing I've ever seen a white person do. You go, little white rebel. Call me when you're 13 and I'll introduce you to Spiked Orchata mm -hmm. and Paquita La del Barrio. Write that, that shit down. down.